Okay, I have a lot to show you guys today. I found this caterpillar in my backyard last night, as well as this one here. See those pro legs? Colorful caterpillars. And then over here, I brought some eggs back from Arizona, some caterpillars, and Jessica at Miss Amina has been doing an exceptional job of keeping them alive. Look at the beautiful colors on these. I'm sure at this point that someone can probably identify them to species or at least to genus. I found a cluster of these eggs on a juniper bush, a juniper tree down there. And for that reason, she's been feeding them some Arborvita because I found in the past that Chrysina gloriosa would feed on Arborvita in captivity because it's very closely related to juniper. So these little caterpillars are doing really well. You can see the shed from one right there. And the main feature of this video are these caterpillars over here. Many of you, if you were to encounter these things in nature, would think they were caterpillars, but of course, they are not. These are called velvet worms. And they are in the group Onychophora. And it's sort of worn off during the course of making this video now, but I had moved one and it actually spit its sticky liquid that they use to ensnare their prey onto my finger, which was kind of an interesting experience. Um, a piece of this moss was also attached to my finger at that point. So I've just acquired these and I'm going to be making lots more videos of them. I'm gonna get them out of the sunlight here because I can't possibly like that, but I wanted you to be able to get a very good look at them. Oh, and you can see there some of that sticky spray that they spit out when they're ensnaring their prey. I did see a moment ago, you can see this sticking to my hand here again. I did see a sow bug down here that wasn't looking too hot. A few minutes ago, I think that maybe they had ensnared it But I'll be making lots more videos of these. You can see some of their sticky glue right there. And on my finger, pretty liberal with it. Apparently you don't want to force them to do it very often though. Let them reserve it for their prey because um, it uses a lot of resources in their bodies to make more of that. So, anyway, velvet worms to be continued.